So, um, I like to joke and say that my brother's the other kind of doctor, the one who can save people from a heart attack, um, not the one I am, which is the good one. Uh, so we were in Miami, and um, I was visiting him and my sister-in-law in Miami, and uh, we were in the ocean, and there was a jellyfish warning that day, and uh, so Frank was swimming, and I was swimming, and then Frank just like jumps out of the water, and he goes running away like a little girl. Um, and what he thought was a jellyfish was a plastic bag from Publix. Um, <laughs> so I decided to write a poem about that, mocking him. Um, so the, the title in the book says, That Time Frank Thought a Plastic Bag Was a Jellyfish. But the way I read it is, That Time Frank Thought a Plastic Bag Was a Jellyfish and Ran Away Like a Little Girl. <laughs> this is for my brother. So I said, fish carcasses were crowding me, or so I claimed as I pretended froze, my feet in a bed of skeletons, when I said a free-floating sprite bottle feigned a dolphin's nose, and the driftwood was hammerhead, the dunes cleft pallets in the harbor's mouth. So he said, you're a smartass. I told him I felt the sting, the salt in Nick calves, and I knew we could be sure that a dollar wasn't seaweed and severed string not fish shit. But the sea was in halves, quick, deft, and broken. The waves would rise and fall. Out past the break, we sensed no moves. Frank saw the sun set like it used to, when we call reflections gold and say mine, no, mine. And the awe of the thing was the diving pipe and heft of skip stones as they broke a brook. So did I see? I saw a carcass with stone and stone shells, maybe an avatar of bodies, all the sands mistook for dirt. And we drifted, the shore like an effigy, right where we were was far from left. <laughs>